Um, do you have a preference as to which place to play in or what's, you know, what type of places? Cause I guess I've found my home playing a lot more in like the DIY style places, but playing at places like, you know, lefties and muse with, with their own sound guys, uh, no more vaudeville muse, unfortunately, but, um, you know, playing at places with sound guys is pretty awesome. It takes a lot of the burden out of there. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I know it's easier to hear, hear everybody when you have the whole setup and everyone's mic'd off and going through the monitors, but sometimes it's funner to just fucking plug in and go instead of worrying about the sound check and whatnot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's that total like punk rock mentality of just, you know, just plug your guitar into the amp and go with it. And, um, I mean, that's, they both work, they both work okay. But, uh, you just as well as I know that, you know, just plugging in and going sometimes doesn't, yield the best results um i do know for a while you were running like a semi stereo rig you had like one guitar cab and then another guitar cab did you ever like spread those out across the stage like one yeah. one side to the other so it kind of made it stereo sounding uh, yeah well that was the whole reason i started doing that is so it kind of made it sound like there was more than one guitar but uh Apparently, it gets too loud on Eric's end. Oh. So I kind of just started putting them together. Like, if it was, I had one of my stacks over by him, he would say that it was too loud or he couldn't hear much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, you definitely get some of that. I, I really dig the whole like stereo sound setup. For a while, I was doing something kind of like that. I got tired of dragging gear everywhere. <laughs> this is my big deal. Um, oh, yeah. That's. I'm sure you're no, you know, you've done it a lot longer and a lot more than I have. But is that ever something that you sit down and you're like, man, I'd I'd really like to not drag, you know, a full stack with me everywhere I go or whatever. Oh yeah, there's there was a couple of shows on tour where I just left one of my cabs in the van instead of hooking it up because I just felt too lazy and was like, fuck it. Yeah. Plus the plates are usually small anyway, and don't you don't really need two cabs going. Yeah, I I ran into that too at some places where it was like you'd bring in two cabs and it's like this is this is overkill by a million here, you know? <laughs> like All right. So, you know, you'd take one back or whatever. And recently I've gotten into uh 2 by 12s you know, 2 by 12 cabs. Um love them or hate them, I don't know. They're okay. They're smaller, easier to drag around and stuff. So that's yeah. one reason I kind of enjoy them, but it also, you and know, most of the time you might go for it. I said most of the time you're mic'd off, so you don't need anything crazy. Yeah, yeah. At those like places where you can just mic it up and stuff like that, you could bring a 1x12 combo and you'd be just fine. All right. All right.